get out a pencil and paper. It's time for the total tool breakdown. If you're just getting started in the business or you've been in for a while and you're wondering how do I get this thing rolling, this will help you figure out how many tools you need to distribute on a monthly basis. First, I start out with my goal. Now here's my personal goal, total financial freedom. And what that means for me is all my bills are covered. The mortgage, the car payment, the electric, the food, and a little bit of money left over for fun. Now, I need about 4K, four grand a month to pull that off. Now your goal may be different. Write it down. And what I'm gonna do is enroll 10 people per month. So write down your goal and about how many people you'd like to enroll each and every month. Now what I'm going to do now is multiply by 10. If I'm working with my warm market, I need to multiply the number of enrollments I want by 10, which is going to give me 100. Now if I was working with cold market, which is internet leads, that type of thing, I would need to multiply by 40. But warm market is people that you know, people that know you, like you, and trust you. So a hundred contacts per month. Now it sounds like a lot, but if you break it down, it's really not that many. If I'm working the business about 25 days per month for a half an hour to an hour each day, so I'm going to write that down, 25 days per month I'm working the business, I'm going to take a few days off, that gives me my RDA, if I divide 25 into 100, I come up with 4, which is my RDA recommended daily activity. So I need to talk to about 4 people each and every day out of my 25 days. Now, out of the 100 folks that I'm contacting, about half will agree to watch the discovery video. If I'm using the discovery video as my primary means of contacting people, or I might be using some other tools like a CD or a brochure or something like that. So I'm going to need 50 discovery videos. And about half of those people are going to say, you know, I like more information. It looks cool, but you know, I got questions about zeolites or the mushroom or the compensation plan or any other thing. So I'm going to need to have about 25 other tools. And what I'm going to do right off the bat here is multiply this times two. And the reason is, as soon as I enroll someone, I want them to get started right away. I want them to have tools in their hand. So I'm either going to give or preferably sell some videos and other tools to a person as soon as I enroll them because they may be excited and they want to start sharing these tools with their friends and neighbors right off the bat. So I want to make sure that they have tools in their hands. So take your numbers and plug them into this formula and figure out how many tools you need to get your business rolling and begin to contact people and get the discovery video or the CDs into their hands. Here's Pat Paysetter. He wants to sponsor 12 people over eight weeks. He, Pat should contact about 120 people, et cetera, et cetera. You know, he, um, Pat orders about 120 DVDs total for himself and his group with CDs everything included in the budget that I could think of. Pat's budget's only $175 a month and up to half of that could be stuff that he's selling to the people that he's starting to get them going. But Pat's income is going to range between $700 and $2,000 a month if Pat's brand new. So it depends on Paysetter and Ruby Bonus. I never put my contact information in, like on a sticker already on this thing. When I hand it to Herbert, I'll say, okay, well go ahead and watch this thing. Here's Here's, I'm, I'm Greg, well, you, and you knew that. Yeah, I know, okay, well, okay, Greg. And here's my cell phone number. And I put it right here now. And now it's personal. We're connecting this way. And if you're someone that I met at the gas station, at the library, we don't know each other that well, you might have been reluctant to give me your cell phone number if I said, here's this thing, give me your number because I've got to call you back. But if I give you my number first, and, and I say, what's, your best, what's the best number to call you back at? Is it your cell i probably say, yeah, well, and I'll get my little notebook. Well, what's that number? I'm just going to give you a call tonight and see what you think. And so in the course of a more personal trade, that makes that much more natural. People answer in kind. Um, so 
People love to give out business cards, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Do you have a card? Can I get your card? In fact, for the longest time, I didn't have any business cards of my own because I'd become quite expert at getting everybody else's, which were a lot more valuable because then I had a way to, to get a hold of you. It's having someone watch the, uh, like the giantdiscovery.com to watch the movie. It's not um, as effective as having them watch the real movie because people don't make the same kinds of decisions sitting in front of their computers. They do relax watching it on a big screen. However, it's cheap, it's fast, and you can do it instantly all over the country. I don't go anywhere without my Wayora toolbox. I've got this baby loaded up with discovery videos. I've also got a number of different audio CDs in here. I've got Invisible Killers. I've got the product catalog. And I've got a tool belt. No self-respecting builder would go around without his tool belt. And in here I have audio CDs. So if I'm going into the coffee shop or the mall, wherever I'm at, I can give away tools. Now I also have in here my distributor kit. And mine's been beefed up a little bit here. I've got some extra brochures in here. But more importantly, I have new distributor sign-up forms. Go in your back office and just print these out and carry them around with you so when that person's ready to sign up, bam, you're ready to make it happen.